Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fight Channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing UFC 264, ladies and gentlemen. This is an early prelim fight, ladies and gentlemen, on that card. They get ready, get to the show, and see what will happen in this matchup here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Omori Akhmedov and Brad Tavoris. Alright, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a head bump, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Brad Tavares! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Mechakala, Russia, Omari Lakak Akhmedov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Are you ready? So round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glorious witness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Akhmedov gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. That landed. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he is. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Done to catch the kick, we'll see what he can do. Right hand oh, punch, that's a lovely transition. Nice scramble. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. Oh, nice hook there. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Nice punch there. They continue to exchange. Kick now by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Brad Tavares. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from that goal that kick. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Oh, collar tie. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Very good right hand. Knee to the body. It is blocked. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Got the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Scramble to his feet. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Ahmed. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses with the jab. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. That is how you scramble, folks. Akhmedov going for the body. Miss with that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big head kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He blocks the punch. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Akhmedov goes for the clinch hit. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we can see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, 
blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Seconds winding down in round two. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon, even though it wasn't great. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Tavares' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All he passes to half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. to go in our third and final round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brad Tuffles. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a great win there for him, ladies and gentlemen.
If you like what you're watching here on the Fight Channel, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're going to have some more great UFC and wrestling content coming on this channel in the future, ladies and gentlemen. We see you then. Peace out.